If he could immobilize his enemies, they were at his mercy. Why, I want the staff have any effect on the weaver. Inexorable cycle of death and rebirth to 
which all men are compelled. We serve the same God, but the added. To strike me down would be striking God's own attendant. And I don't believe even you take that risk. I tire of your games, Mobius. Now that I know you fear me, I needn't concern myself with you. Kane's waiting for me. Go there, Razia. Seek Kane out and destroy him. In the name of the one God we both serve. You, who were once a servant priest, murdered, profaned, destroyed, and reborn again from his mercy. You are now most powerfully equipped to be his agent. His instrument of restoration and retribution. My own vengeance is motivation in nothing. By my soul, you almost had me, my little blue assassin. But that'll be the one and only chance you get. I assure you of that. I could now summon the blade at will, regardless of my strength. But once summoned, the blade's ravenous appetite could not be contained. It devoured the souls of its victims. And if I allowed it to become over-aroused, the Reaver would now turn its hunger on me. So this was the legendary Janos Ordrin, reputed to have been the most ancient and diabolical vampire to have ever existed. According to folklore, he lived high in the cliffs of Nazgoth's northern mountains and preyed mercilessly on the defenseless villagers below. His reign of terror ended when the Saratham finally hunted him down tore his throbbing heart from his still-living body. This relic came to be known as the Heart of Darkness and was supposedly imbued with the power to restore vampiric unlife. The Saratham therefore guarded it carefully, lest the heart fall into the hands of their enemies. But I wondered, could Janos Audrin truly have been as monstrous as depicted here? Or was this merely artistic license by the Saratham? who sought to lionize themselves by demonizing their darkest enemy. Of my Saratan self, 